Well, we recently heard an announcement, and we'll get some details soon on the Reduce It trial that used a high dose uh, EPA uh, only fish oil for treatment of patients with high triglycerides. And this has been an area we've really not had specific data on how do we manage patients with high triglycerides. Uh, and so this study had 8,000 patients, all of whom had either cardiovascular disease or diabetes and several risk factors, on a statin, well-controlled LDL, I think it was about 70 or 75, uh, and then still having high triglycerides. So I think it was 175 up to 500. Um, and so should you treat that or not? We, we haven't had evidence, it's not in any guideline to, to do that. And so using um, the EPA only at a four gram dose, so high dose uh, EPA um, uh, omega-3 preparation, uh, we had preliminary announcement that this led to a 25% reduction in cardiovascular events. Um, so there was a five-part endpoint, I believe. So we'll see the details. But I think for the first time, this shows that you get the LDL controlled if the triglycerides are still high, that lowering them with this you know, approach of, of uh, omega-3 high dose looks like it can provide added benefit. So it's really a, a big game changer uh, that it's been very LDL focused. We've really struck out on all the drugs to try and raise HDL, but here we're finding for triglyceride lowering with this approach that we may be able to offer further benefit. And you know they have almost no side effects, so it's a, a really a nice benefit to risk ratio. So we'll look forward really to hearing all the details, and I think this will very quickly make it into practice. Um, and it can really offer new benefits for patients. Well, use of fish oil, uh, and it comes in two uh, approaches, and uh, there's been uh, use of supplementation, so generally one gram, and that is based on two large trials, or mostly one large trial at that dose, the GISI Prevenzione, where it seemed like just taking some fish oil would be helpful. So I have tons of patients who take this. Um, there have been four big trials of the low-dose supplementation approach failing to show any added benefit. So, but then for treatment of high triglycerides, that we haven't really had specific trial data. We all do it if the triglycerides are above 500 to avoid pancreatitis, and then we think it's probably a good idea to lower triglycerides if they're in this range of say two to 500, but we haven't had evidence, and indeed the FDA approved the agent for being on the market, but said we're not gonna put in any indication that you should be doing this because there hasn't been a trial. So it can be used to lower triglycerides, and now we have evidence that we probably should be using this to lower triglycerides in this medium range uh, for elevated triglycerides. So it's nice in the lipid field to have LDL to go after, and then this is sort of the other bad cholesterol, as I th think of it, that it looks like we now have some evidence to say that lowering that is, is good. And there is another large trial, it's probably another two, two and a half years away, but more data in this field with a slightly different approach uh, for the omega-3s with a DHA, a EPA, uh, preparation, um, but this notion of high dose um, levels of omega-3 being a new approach is, is very exciting.